Hey guys, this is yours truly, Kevin Grace, reporting to you from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm at an old cemetery called Mount Auburn Cemetery, and I'm here to pay respects to Joseph Gans, one of the greatest boxers that ever lived. Matter of fact, he was the first black American champion of any sport, and it happened to be boxing. He was a lightweight champion from 1902 to 1908, and... Um, he still has the record for the longest fight of 42 rounds in Goldfield, Nevada in 1906. And uh, he opened a hotel here in Baltimore called the Goldfield, named after that town. And he gave U.B. Blake his first real job as a piano player. Before that, U.B. was playing in some brothels, so that's why I said the first real job. But anyway, on this date, on August the 10th, 1910, 106 years ago, he passed away. And uh, he is buried here, and he had the one of the biggest funerals for a black man at that time. It had over 106 carriages. And uh, he died at a young age of 35 from tuberculosis. And uh, you may see some of the older um, articles written and say the word consumption but that's another name for tuberculosis his first wife also passed away from consumption to TB as well and um, he's buried here and hopefully you got a chance to see my seven minute uh, short that I did on Joe Gans back in 2010 called The Pugilist so it's on YouTube so definitely check it out and and leave uh, whatever remarks you want hopefully positive ones but if you ever hear in Baltimore Come on out and pay your respects to one of the greatest boxers ever. It's right up the street from Horseshoe Casino. Take BW Parkway, get off at Annapolis Road, and you'll see uh, Waterford, uh, Water, Waterview Avenue. And you'll see the cemetery right here at the entrance. This is where his grave is located. So come on out and pay your respects to Joe Gans, the old master.